This is a solar and Tesla video, and I can't find my chair right now, so I'm just gonna be awkwardly uh, squatting down right here, but this is a solar and Tesla video. I make videos in two niches, and this is not the other niche. This is solar and Tesla video. I recently, not recently, broke out a long time ago on Sunrun Solar Review, okay? Sunrun Solar Review, and then I covered about 30 Sunrun videos about my old house, suburban homestead, that um, we had built, done a bunch of uh, two power walls over there, nine and a half kilowatts of solar, did a bunch of how just buying new builds in California work, and now we're at our new house, and we're building out again. So we ordered 45 solar panels, three Tesla Powerwall threes, take you outside in a second and show them to you. We don't have the Tesla wall connector here yet, so we'll eventually get the Tesla wall connector again from Trout Electric, love them in Southern California, but we're still driving the Tesla Model Y, and yeah, I'm all about the new difference that's here too is we have a swimming pool now, and so I just got my last SoCal Edison bill. My last SoCal Edison bill is $800, so in, I don't have my permission to operate the new large Sunrun system yet. And so I should get another monthly bill of a large bill and I'll be able to show you guys the difference between the new lease that we have from Sunrun and what a typical month was from SoCal Edison um, pre-solar. Because I tackle the ROI on solar like a little bit differently than other people. And it's, it's that, I can get ROIs day one. Like you get a cash flow savings to your monthly budget at your house day one. So this whole like, does it ROI thing? Just, I don't, it, it's not a five to seven year timeline. It's not a 12 year timeline. No, like day one, it cash flows and saves your family money. And so I just don't look at the whole ROI discussion the same way as everyone else. On top of that, I switched over to leasing. So I do have a video on the channel where I said I do like purchasing. And with cars and everything, I, I've always been a purchasing guy, not a leasing guy. But recently, because the federal tax credit is going away, it's basically over Like at the time of publishing this video because you would need to get your permission to operate and like already be in the, in the system. But it's basically over. Leasing, it still is there for Sunrun. So Sunrun is getting cash back from the Fed and they are able to lower your price for that. And so same thing, if I'm paying SoCal Edison $800 a month for electricity and I can lease a giant oversized system from my house for 500, boom, that's awesome. Because then I go into how we charge our car, we like run the pool, we load up all the batteries and then from five to 9 p.m. every day with the time of use, the house runs off the batteries. And so that's the number one way reason that time, that batteries um, you know, help you monetize your own solar more. And then I talked about monetizing your electricity and making money off of your uh, surplus electricity. But the first thing, before we even get to that, because you can't get rich off your own electricity. You can't get rich off your own electricity, but you can already book a monthly savings. So the 800, 500 is already a $300 a month cash flow savings. So we're now in the black. That's why I'm in favor of overproducing because there's already like a cash flow savings. And so let's go outside and look at these power walls because then on top of that, the Tesla virtual power plant, which I believe they're gonna continue to just build out. This is gonna be noisy out here. So I, I hear comments that are like, hey, like get a microphone. I'm good guys, I'm good. I'm just gonna use the AirPods. I'm just gonna use the AirPods. But look, yeah, so we need the wall connector because we're just using this thing right now. But the Tesla virtual power plant, I think is gonna become more and more and more of a thing. And it pays $2 per kilowatt hour in times of emergency. And so, yeah, we have three of the new Powerwall threes. You can see that the first one, first one, cause uh, where I'm at, you have to space them like a certain time away from doors and windows. And so the first one got out front, uh, two in the back. And then they have to install the, you can't get your power walls turned on right away like you could with the power wall twos. You have to wait for the utility company to come and install the switch. And so that's what we are still waiting on in terms of getting that all turned on. And so here's the noisy pool equipment and might as well show you the pool while we're back here. 
for a long, long, long time viewers of the channel, you saw the suburban homestead at the other place. This place, we're not doing as much gardening as last time. We are went with a completely different aesthetic, more a classic California aesthetic, but we are, because we're in Southern California wine country, we got the South Blanc vines planted along that top fence and we got the avocado and the lime tree. And yeah, so I hope you join me as we talk about surplus solar and you might get some side Sauv Blanc planting along the way, but that's gonna be a ways away. That's a ways away. The main thing is continuing to be bullish on the whole Tesla ecosystem. Paid off our Tesla Model Y, gonna keep that for sure. Starting to look at the Rivian, because we want the bigger SUV now. And so probably we'll get the universal wall connector so that we can charge non-Tesla vehicles too. And take you guys along with me as we get this uh, giant oversized system turned on. So thanks for being here for another solar and Tesla video.